Good morning or good afternoon, depending on whenever you're seeing this. Welcome to this highly intricate video on how to manage your exam stress. Edit this in. Fuck you. Step one. Don't worry. What's the worst that could happen? Your future will be ruined. Just study the satisfaction and you got this. Is this what you're actually serious? Oh my god. Step two. Worry. The dumb shit step one do this, step two don't follow step one please say. What are you? I'm overconfident. No one flying. So fuck. What if the papers are in front of you and you don't know what to write? Your mind just goes... And let's be honest here, you only start being more productive after you start running. Step 3. Keep the book open whatever you do. If your books are not open all the fucking time, then the examination girls will not be happy with your soul. They might be throwing you with questions you may not know the answers to. Also, you won't get to boast in front of your friends that you studied all day. This is Harish. Harish studied and slept at 9.30. However, Harish tells his friends that he was up studying till 1 o'clock. Don't be like Harish. Harish is a bad boy. Just beware. What kind of friends you talk with? You don't want to be talking with a dude who just went to this person a month ago. No. That'll just push you into eternal darkness and stress. Except, you want to talk with those. Just open their books right before the exam day. How much are you doing? Hello, Prem. I have only one chapter. You have only one chapter. No, no, no. Step 5. Don't keep expectations. It's like when you watch my videos, yeah. You'd expect it's some low, low, great shit. And then you get satisfied easily. And then you're like, Prem, 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 video, video, Prem. So yeah, don't keep expectations. Just, just study and do your best. Nobody should keep expectations, right? But, yeah, like, I want A1 this time. No, that is just... You don't understand it. You don't have to keep expectations. Which is the wrong way by trucks. You get the wrong way by trucks. You're gonna spend 50 episodes of your expectations lying on the bed and visit him all day in the hospital and then you spend yourself to force to prove they're visiting you. They're visiting uh, their expectations to the gravestone. And then there's a picture in your drawer uh, reminding you of your expectations and you'll wish you never had them. Okay, yeah, yeah but who's in Indian drama? Don't think about the sun star way. <laughs> Step 6. Don't lie. Don't ever. Don't even think, don't lie to your friends saying that you have not even opened the NCRT when you've done studying RV three times. That's just me. Dude, I'm going to fail. I didn't study for anything. Dude, how did you take four supplements? You didn't study for anything, right? Yeah, I don't know, man. I just kept writing. What were you writing, huh? I'm on to you. Step seven. Call out hoaxes. You know, you know when it's exam time and teachers start there. It's my paper. It's very hard. It's very hard. And then all of them are in text. Still gonna study the entire portion. Why? Because the entire portion is coming for the exam. And please, just don't get sick during the paper. Step eight. It doesn't exist in here, but don't get sick. He's fucking writing my exam and. <coughs> <coughs> and lastly, step nine. The most important. I didn't even have to open my book for this one. Subscribe so you can waste your time watching my videos when exams are around. And this was an Instagram story by yours truly. Welcome to my first ever video which has an outro. What are you? Overconfident? You want flying chapel? That took a lot of effort to do.